Cue the bathroom humor, because toilet paper is on the minds of America. These normally plentiful white rolls have become the hot commodity of March 2020, as the nation braces for coronavirus and the possibility of weeks in isolation. I jumped online to see what a creative person could find as alternatives to toilet paper. There were natural options, man-made options, and many opinions on sustainability. Friends, let me be honest with you. A lot of the things on this list don't belong in your toilet. We've all seen that YouTube video of a child placing toy after toy after toy, and then what happens to the toilet? Water, water everywhere. But at the same time, there could be some of the things on this list you might not think about. Rocks are like Legos. Rope, why would you do rope? That just sounds awful. Sanitation napkins. Ladies, you've seen the signs in the bathroom. Why? Because sanitation napkins clog pipes. Why? Because they expand. They create stuck points. They get stuck on things. Wipes clog pipes just the same way. You might think, hey, it's advertised as flushable. <coughs> that is a lie, my friends. Flushable wipes are about the same as your sanitary napkins. In more ways than you'd think, because microplastics. Wipes are often made of polyester or polypropylene, making them a potential direct source of microfiber pollution. Trash, don't flush. Friends of the wastewater industry have been active on social media, posting things like trash, don't flush, or only flush the three P's. Pee, poo, or you guessed it, paper. The California Association of Sanitation Agencies has an entire website dedicated to the impact wipes have on our wastewater infrastructure. There are photos, infographics, and news articles, as well as updates on legislative actions like AB 1672. On social media, you can find even more fun informational pieces. In 2019, the American Society of Civil Engineers published a report card grading California's infrastructure from A, excellent and fit for use, to F, failing or in critical need of repair. California's infrastructure could be rated mediocre at best. With 11 C's and 6 D's, the 17 categories averaged up to a whopping C-. So our wastewater infrastructure is passing at a C+. Plus. Not great, not bad, but it definitely needs some help. So what do we do? The engineering recommendations included sexy terms like data, asset management, optimized operations and maintenance, and life cycle costs. Basically, they wanted to strategically plan to strategically do. <laughs> oh, Etsy. Washing will be a thing. Um... If it's TP, number one, not number two. Unless you're a high volume user, the benefit gained from using cloth for solids management is mitigated by washing twice and washing often. Make sure that your materials are separated. Separate container for clean, separate container for what clean, uh, to be cleaned, and then wash it. I will not be converting to cloth toilet paper anytime soon. However, I am willing to transition myself to cloth napkins and I will be making them using some leftover materials I have from a craft project that's going nowhere. In terms of material, I don't think the polyester shiny stuff would feel good. It's on your nose, on your face, on your tush. But that's personal preference, personal choice too. In the raw, the cut tends to fray and if I'm going to work with a fraying cloth, I'd rather choose something that's a little bit rougher, like this particular holiday uh, polyester, than I would with a towel that's just going to go boom. Another option is to just take old rags that you have, shred your shirts. Um, wool actually tends to hold together pretty well, but why would you use wool to create toilet paper? 
All you want to do is make sure that the frayed ends stay in place so you keep that cloth longer term. Have at least one hemmed edge that you can utilize. Just fold it over once or twice and either do a running stitch or do a hemming stitch over the top. And size differential, you know, coverage. Start with a bigger square because you're basically losing half an inch on each side to do your hemming. Maybe a quarter of an inch if you're really skilled. Which hey, congrats for getting to the end of this video. If you take home nothing else, remember just the three P's, please. Your toilet will thank you. Trash wipes. Don't flush them.